another version saved. Okay, for this, what I want to do is start repairing some of the unbalance that's occurring here. I see it that it's kind of a dragon giraffe going on, and I want to make sure it's got some good balance between the, the two halves. So, what I'll do is because this all is on one layer, I can also do this. Flip canvas horizontal. Once I flip it horizontal, you can see the unbalance. You'll never do it without being able to flip it though. Okay, do you see it now? Like where this side of the face needs to kind of be pulled down some in order for it to work out. Okay? So I can do this in several different ways, but keep in mind this is all digital, so there is no rules. I can go in here, and I haven't got the neck done yet, but in this area, maybe, you know, just a little tiny rotate will work. I can rotate that all in form and just move it on down. If you want to hide the selection so it, see the marching ants, it gets really annoying. Command H or Control H will hide the selection and allow you to still move it around without it being so in your way. I like that a lot better. With the hid, you also have the ability to do such things as like distort, warp. Warp's a really nice tool. So if I got warp on and I want to totally change the outlook of it, I can just select this area and I can now pull this up. And you can see how much more that added to it, you know, just by pulling that area up. Something I wouldn't have, you know, drawn out because what I did, I would trace the outside image. And it just, I was subject to that image. While the whole name of this game is not to be subject to anything. Okay, I'm going to straighten out this face. See how, now if I pull this to the side a little bit. It, go cool and I can deselect the area and now you know I can start moving on with the rest of my render so that's what I mean by if I get bored with an area maybe I want to just render out that one small area before I go all the way through the body because it would make it more interesting for me as an artist to find out how that area looks rendered. The eyes, if you know, if I really wanted to keep them that way, I could, but I'll make a new layer and then I'll take my concept brush, my sketch brush, steal some of this color and then add it. To the eye area. And then I'll probably go and steal black and do the same thing. Now you see how I went gray and then the black is actually you know, a smaller part of that. So I did three stages there. What's nice about this method that it's on a new layer and if you get the cross-eyed dragon giraffe type deal going for you, I can hit, hit control H, blur my vision and move this around a little bit until I find the area at which the eye should occur. Okay. 
That is by far the creepiest freaking giraffe I've ever seen. If I hung this on my kid's wall, it would have nightmares forever about giraffes. And it would probably never go to the zoo ever again. Okay, so last minute touch-ups. Liquify. And make sure I deselect the area. Liquify. When I liquefy at this stage, you know, I want to be zoomed out really far because I want to adjust just small little areas like that horn right there. I wanted to pull it down a little bit. There. Zoom in and liquefy the outside edge. It's so much faster to go over here to adjust your brush size because it's so small. Uh, it's such a small transition if you just go go through the stages. So I'm just taking these and kind of evening them up. Yes, yeah, very cool. So that is essentially what I want you to do. I want you to take an animal and well in the next video I'll put the critiques out there so go to the next video.